Agriculture of Kazakhstan. Aim. Consider the main sectors of agriculture. Kazakhstan has substantial untapped agricultural potential, yet its agricultural sector is underdeveloped and underfinanced. The country's capital Astana, previously known as Tselenograd, was the epicenter of a major Soviet agricultural expansion program the Virgin Lands Program of the 1950s and 1960s. During this period, tens of thousands of households moved to central Kazakhstan to assist in the expansion of agriculture. Currently agriculture is the country's major employer. Yet it comes in a distant second to the industrial sector in attracting government attention for investment and support. Kazakhstan produced about 8 million tons of wheat in the 2001 growing season, down from 11.2 million tons produced the previous year. Total grain production was about 10.5 million tons, down from over 14 million the year before. Area under cultivation increased approximately 4% in 2000 from T previous year, to 9.0 million hectares of wheat and 11.4 million total hectares of grain. Conditions were generally favorable for wheat in Kazakhstan's key north-central oblasts since the beginning of the growing season, with adequate precipitation in the form of frequent light to moderate showers. Vegetation indices he from late July indicate that crop conditions in Kazakhstan in 2000 were not good as in 1999, when near-ideal conditions prevailed, but they were better than during the drought of 1998 when wheat output dropped to 4.7 million tons. 1. Constraint that some economists see on Kazakhstan's agricultural development is the failure of the country to develop firm private property rights for agriculture. Economists maintain that private property rights play a critical role in providing the incentives necessary for investment and careful use of re during the Soviet period, large-scale agriculture was carried out on state farms, sovhozes, and collective farms, kolkhozes. With the end of the Soviet period these farms were reorganized into large agricultural cooperatives with the understanding that they would eventually become private farms. However, the Kazakhstan government has postponed the adoption of true private property in agricultural land for cultural and political reasons. The lower chamber of Kazakhstan's parliament decided in June 2000 to postpone debate on a proposed law on land ownership. The Kazakhstan government originally submitted the draft bill to the parliament for passage in 1999, but the law was withdrawn after widespread public protests against land privatization. An amended version resubmitted for debate in 2000. The year 2000 version stipulated that only land adjacent to rural dwellings, but not all the country's agricultural land, could be privately owned. The amended draft also triggered public protests, including a hunger strike by opposition members of the Alash Party organization. Members of the Alash fear that if agricultural land is privatized there will be little public support for defending the interests of small farmers against the interests of large farm owners. Kazakhstan they fear, will witness the development of large plantation-style farms that derive profits for multinational companies while small farmers are increasingly pushed into subsistence-level farming. Kazakhstan is one of the world's major wheat and flour exporters. It is among the ten largest wheat producers. The main grain crop is milling wheat, which is typically high in quality and protein. There is a growing trend for Kazakhstan to export its grain crop, nearly 27 million tons, which enabled it to set its grain export target at nearly 15 million tons for the 2011-2012 marketing year. Fast Astana forecasts Kazakhstan's wheat production in 2014 at 14.5 million tons, up from 13.9 million tons in 2013 in July 2015. Minister of the National Economy Yabolat Dosayev announced that Kazakhstan would increase export of grain and flour to Kyrgyzstan by 50 to 60 percent by 2020 after Kyrgyzstan's accession to the Eurasian Economic Union. According to the head of the ministry, 
as of July 2015 trade turnover between the two countries was more than USS 1 billion. Kazakhstan's largest crop is wheat, which it exports. It ranks as the sixth largest wheat producer in the world. Minor crops include barley, cotton, sugar beets, sunflowers, flax, and rice. Agriculture lands in Kazakhstan were depleted of their nutrients during the Virgin Lands campaign during the Soviet era. This continues to affect production today. Kazakh wine is produced in the mountains east of Almaty. In 2011, the country had achieved record grain harvests of 26.9 million tons, exceeding the previous record of 21 mn tons recorded in 2009. For 2012, the Kazakh Agriculture Ministry cut the crop forecast to only 14 million tons because of dry weather. In 2013, the Kazakh Ministry of Agriculture released a master plan for the stabilization of the grain market. This plan is in support of their Agribusiness 2020 program and in it the ministry sets goals and projections for consumption and exports between 2013 to 2020. A few key trends shown in these projections include The ministry projects sown area for all grains to stay relatively steady over this period, falling only slightly. There is projected to be a sizable shift from wheat, with wheat area projected to fall 2 million hectares, 14%, from 13.5 million hectares in 2012 to 11.5 million hectares in 2020. Most of that reduced area is expected to be replaced with so-called feed crops primarily feed grains, which are projected to increase 1.5 million hectares, 53%, from 2.8 million hectares to 4.3 million hectares in 2020. In 2014 the volume of investments in Kazakhstan's agricultural sector exceeded 166 billion KZT, which is 17% more than in 2013. The Aggregate Profitability Index of large and medium-sized companies operating in Kazakhstan's agricultural sector stood at 17.7%, while this index was equal to 4.5% in the same period of 2013. Investment in agriculture in 2015 increased 3.4 times, which totaled to 167 billion tenge. Kazakhstan has the largest wolf population of any nation in the world, with about 90,000. In March 2015 the Minister of Agriculture of Kazakhstan said that Kazakhstan had almost doubled agricultural production in the past five years. He also noted that the agricultural exports had increased by 1.6 times during that period and had reached 3 billion usage. On July 23, 2015, the Kazakhstan Vice Minister of Agriculture said that within the framework of the law on agricultural cooperation a special tax regime would be introduced for agricultural cooperatives. This initiative is expected to contribute to the development of the agricultural sector of Kazakhstan. From 1995 to 2015 Kazakhstan's volume of agricultural production has increased by 41%. Agricultural exports were worth $379 million in 2015, reports the Ministry of Agriculture. Livestock is one of the most important branches of agriculture. In Kazakhstan, from this sector is about 45% of gross agricultural output. General rise in living standards of the population, improve the environment and nutrition o people is largely determined by the state and the development of animal husbandry. Due to President Nasal Tan Nazarbayev and large-scale government support measures, cattle sector of Kazakhstan is beginning to experience stronger growth present time, Kazakhstan's cattle and beef production is continuing to recover from the collapse of the Soviet Union, and is being supported by very large-scale government financing. The Ministry of Agriculture has laid out a plan for the development of beef export potential for Kazakhstan. This plan is separated into two phases, with the first phase covering 2011 to 2015, 
and calling for the rapid expansion of the number of high-yielding breeding cattle in Kazakhstan. The second phase covers 2016 to 2020, and calls for the development of beef exports with goals of 60,000 metric tons of exports by 2016 and 180,000 metric tons by 2020. In order to meet these goals, the proposal envisions large volume importation of breeding stock to improve the genetics of the cattle in Kazakhstan. It also envisions the establishment and expansion of commercial cattle farms and ranches, including large-scale feed lots, the developing of more meat processing facilities and improved management of pastures and feed production. Kaz Agro, the main agricultural financing entity of the government, recently estimated lending of up to $900 million through 2015 for the development of the sector. The government has supported this proposal by huge outlays of money to the sector both in the form of subsidies, as well as discounted credit terms. Also, in accordance with the instructions of the President of Kazakhstan, Nursultan Nazarbayev, in a message to the people of Kazakhstan social and economic modernization is main vector of Kazakhstan's development in our country the project development of export potential of beef is realized, where in all regions are built the breeding reproducers and fattening complexes. These government support programs have already begun to have a significant impact as live cattle imports have surged, and a number of large commercial cattle production facilities have recently been established. Over recent years there has been a steady growth of livestock production and the number of farm animals in the agricultural sector of the country. The pace of growth in livestock production are provided by the stabilization and gradual growth of the number of all types of animals, improved herd for reproduction and breeding. However, President N. Nazarbayev is confident that the country's time to cut unproductive cattle herd mongrel whose share now stands at 82%, and the need to address growing breeding stock. According to the president, it is our age-old occupation for which the country has favorable conditions, can be very profitable because ton marble meat costs five times more expensive than tons of wheat. Particularly profitable industry promises to be by the year 2015, which is planned to export beef to 60,000 tons, and by 2020, already 180,000. In addition, the implementation of the state program for the development of livestock will require a large number of jobs. Moreover, according to N. Nazarbayev, to occupy these places should young people.